Hey guys, my name's uh, C Lab. Oh, my real name's Caleb Strickland. I just, uh, I'm really awkward on video, I apologize. I just uh, wanted to take a second to introduce myself and introduce my uh, collision mapping. I'm going to give you all a quick overview on it and uh, just kind of let you know what's up. And maybe following, I'll send out some more in depth videos of uh, really down and dirty details. But um, yeah, I'm about to uh, get to it. Check it out. All right, so you've got your eight by five grid here, with, which gives you uh, transport controls in the top two rows. Those are never gonna change. They're always gonna be there. Bottom three rows are each divided into four pages. Page one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. This side's deck A, this side's deck B. This is your shift button. This is headphone or monitors for A, B, C, and D. And you get LED feedback on pretty much everything. Um, the first page, these right here, are gonna be your hot cues. Green is loaded, red is empty, shift green is going to delete. Second one is going to be loop modes. Uh, green is going to be loop in and loop out. And the yellows are going to be different values of loop lengths. Everything from 32 to 30 seconds. Third pages are going to be your instant gratification mapping, just as it appears on the DJ Tech Tools website. On the fourth page, we have sample dex C and sample dex D. Over here we have a standard DJ EQ, Dex A, Dex B. Uh, this is going to be your lows, your mids, your highs, and your filters. The buttons below are going to be your low kills on A and B, and your filter on offs on A and B. Uh, let's get down to these knobs right here. There's eight knobs here, and there's eight banks of eight knobs, and each bank is selected by clicking one of the track selection buttons here. You can see how they change, right? So number one is going to be FX unit one and two. And number two is going to be FX unit three and four. The way the FX units work is the first knob, it works pretty much exactly how it looks in Tractor. The first knob is going to be the volume. And when you're in grouped mode, you're going to have the volume of each, <coughs> excuse me, each effect afterwards. And the same with FX unit two here. The buttons below, when in group mode, the first button isn't going to do anything. And the uh, later three buttons are going to be the powers or the on off switches for each one, each effect. In single mode, it works very similar, except for the first button is going to be the on off and the three buttons are going to be the button parameters. Same with the knobs. Uh, let's see, that's FX unit one and two. Number three is going to be your gains for A, B, C, and D, and your key knobs for A, B, C, and D. And the buttons, the first row of buttons below, is going to be the on off, the keys. Uh, four and five are empty. Number six is going to be the EQ, exactly like for decks A and B, but for decks C and D for with your sample decks. So you have full EQ set up the exact same way for your sample decks. Number seven is just going to be sample deck C, and that's going to be the volume and the filter for each slot in the sample deck, along with the on-off filter below. And that's going to be for C, number 7. Number 8 is going to be for sample deck D, the exact same thing. Now we get into these strips right here. These are going to be FX activators that you see in the middle of the screen. This is going to be deck 1, or deck, sorry, deck A, FX unit 1, 2, 3, and 4. Deck B, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Deck C, right here, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And deck D, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The bottom row currently doesn't do anything. First four sliders are volumes for decks A, B, C, and D. The five and six sliders are going to be tempo faders for A and B, right here. Number seven is going to be the dry wet for your loop recorder. Number eight is going to be the volume of your monitor. And number, well, the master is going to be the volume of the master. Q knob, or the Q level, is going to scroll up and down inside the browser and when shift is held down is going to be the monitor mix uh, what else do we need to talk about here uh, your loop recorder is right down here um, it's play stop record shift to stop is going to be delete I believe I need to double check that oh and your regular browser functions are right here this button tap tempo is going to put you in browser mode load deck A load deck B moving up and down in the column on the left hand side and opening and closing folders. The shift button, like I said earlier, this is not the shift button. This is the shift button. This right here is going to toggle full screen mode. 
Um, that's pretty much a quick run through for you guys. I uh, hope you all enjoy it. Let me know if you find any bugs or things you want to add or take away and just uh, get back to me and give me some feedback. And if you like it, please uh, rate it on DJ Tech Tools' new map site, which we all love. Y'all have a good one.